What is up YouTube, Jared Spalding here, and today I will be answering the question, Is Copper the New Silver? So, copper is very new in the game of precious metals. Oh, many people wouldn't even consider it that even. So, is it capable of ever replacing silver? Now, silver, along with gold, is the largest bullion out there. You know, the most widely invested in, and probably the best known. It's decently affordable and easy to store. Gold, of course, is very easy to store because, you know, it's so much more expensive than silver. But what about copper? Now, copper is a lot cheaper than silver. People often produce bars as large as 20 pounds and sell those on, you know, official websites. And you won't even have to pay that much for them. 20 pounds of copper is worth like $100, so and that's scrap. You know, with bullion, it might be a little bit more. And, you know, the smaller ones, like one ounce rounds and stuff, are only worth about 25 cents a piece in weight. They cost, you know, several dollars a piece due to the fact that copper is so cheap. And many people say it's very difficult to store. Now, I do have copper bullion personally. I have 40 ounces of it. It's so not too much, but you know, I figured I would start investing in it just in case. And, I mean, now... If you couple the fact that copper is thought that not to be a precious metal and pretty bad investment with the fact that copper is, you know, so cheap, you really, the answer to this question really probably is no. Copper will probably not replace silver as a bullion, at least not in the next 10 years. Am I saying it's never going to happen? No, that's not what I'm saying. And am I saying it's impossible for it to replace silver? It's not what I'm saying either. But I'm saying it's not very likely to replace silver. But it does have potential. It's used a lot in industry. And it has gone up, you know, four or five times in value in the last ten years. And, I mean, it is still climbing. However, 60%, I believe, this is 60% um, of people think that copper will go down in, in value in the near future, which is very bad for copper. However, it does have a chance to replace silver, but its biggest chance for that to happen is if silver were to go up in value dramatically. You know, many, some people, maybe not many, but some people think that by the year 2020, silver may be $500 or more per ounce. I do not think that's true because that would be extraordinary. That'd be extraordinary of a jump. But if that were to happen, then copper would have a lot of chance to move up in the world because people would, not many people would be able to afford such large amounts of silver anymore. So people would be forced to buy, you know, copper bullion and that would push it up. Also, if silver were to become so expensive, it would become like gold and it would be getting replaced in the use of cell phones by copper. In fact, it already is due to the fact that copper is nearly as conductive and also can be stripped into very thin wire. So copper is replacing silver in, you know, the use of electronics and all those kind of things. But as a bullion, like I said, there's not much chance of that happening. Now, I'm not going to say you should or shouldn't invest in copper because really it's your money, your choice. I do think that it is a good idea though because, like I said, I personally have 40 ounces and a lot of people are saying that you should buy copper bullion. 
even if they think it's risky, it's a risk that I am willing to take and you know, maybe you are too, maybe you're not. But it really is your choice when it comes to investing in any metal, especially, you know, copper or risky metal like that. You definitely want to be careful. But it's not going to have much chance of replacing silver if silver doesn't move in value. And if it does, then I would be surprised. I'd also be happy because, you know, I'm starting to get a lot of copper, so I'd make a lot of money. So did, And so would the other investors who have a lot of copper bullion. You know, it would be good for those people, including me. And it is... It is a good addition to your portfolio, you know, if you have a lot of it. I don't have that much. I only have two and a half troy pounds. But I do plan on getting more in the near future, and I would advise that you do get some. Like I said, I'm not going to tell you whether you should or shouldn't, but I advise you get some. Because even if it were to go down... It's really not that expensive, at least not not as of now, and it is a solid investment, you know. It, I do recommend it, and if you go and look up other people, they will also recommend copper, or at least some of them will. And there's a lot of big websites that sell it now, you know, Provident Metals, I believe, sells it. Um, MCM might sell it, and. It is, like I said, replacing silver in electronics, so if it gets eaten up, like silver is, you know, more than 50% of silver going into computers and other devices, if that happens with copper, then copper will go up high enough in value, you know, to be trusted as an investment in bullion, and then the bullion market will affect it, and it could go up like silver has. Well, tell me what you think in the comment section, and remember, this is just my opinion. But I hope you enjoyed and found the information useful. Peace, love, and much respect.